What's going on guys? Welcome back to Light Skin Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make millions of dollars with special cargo crates in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Crates are often a neglected money making method in GTA 5 Online due to the high amount of time it takes to see the maximum return on investment. I myself prefer vehicle cargo, but the truth is crates are the most profitable active money making method or business in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So if you want to get started making money with the crate warehouse to get access to that crate warehouse you must own a CEO office and a crate warehouse. So the first step we're going to take here for the prerequisites are buying a CEO office. To buy a CEO office, you will have to go on your phone and then select the internet app, then click money and services, and then go to Dynasty 8 Executive. Once you access the Dynasty 8 Executive website, you will be able to purchase a CEO office of your choice. If you are just beginning the game, this location is irrelevant and you should select the cheapest CEO office named Maze Bank West at $1 million. Sometimes there are sales that will throw this price off, so always buy the cheapest one available to you. It's usually going to be Maze Bank West. The location of your CEO office is not as important as the other business businesses and there are no differences between the CEO offices other than location. Now that you own an office, you should be able to register as a CEO. To do this, you will have to bring up the interaction menu. The interaction menu is a crucial part of Grand Theft Auto 5. So to open this menu, you must hold down the select button or the button with the two little squares on Xbox, the touchpad on PlayStation 4, or the M key on PC. Once you open this menu, you will be able to then go ahead and go to Secure o Serve and register as a CEO. Now we can move on to our second step, which is buying the crate warehouse itself. To buy a crate warehouse, you will have to access your computer within your CEO office. Once you sit down and enter your PC, you now must go on to Special Cargo. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll have the option to select the warehouse map. I recommend you filter large crate warehouses by clicking large crate warehouse in the top right hand corner as they are the best option as they will always provide the most overall profit. You can use small and medium warehouses, just know the profit will be less due to the profit to volume ratio. So when purchasing warehouses, I recommend the following warehouses. Darnell Bros is the warehouse I recommend the most. If you're only gonna have one warehouse, you need to buy Darnell Bros as your first warehouse in my opinion. The second warehouse is up to you. I do recommend wholesale furniture and it is optimal to have two warehouses. If you don't like the wholesale furniture's location, West Vinewood Backlot is nice and north, so you may find that to be beneficial to you. Two large crate warehouses will be more than enough for the average player in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. You can own a maximum amount of five crate warehouses at a time. So you can own five warehouses, which is more than you probably ever will need. And having two will actually let you bypass the cooldown in most cases. So now that you own a CEO office and a large crate warehouse, you can now start running the crates to maximize your profits in GTA 5. To do so, you must source and sell the crates. The first thing we're going to talk about when it comes to running the crate special cargo missions is sourcing. There are many different types of crate sourcing missions. The huge difference between the missions is the way the crates will be delivered. The crates can be delivered inside a vehicle or they can be delivered loose. Loose means there'll be more than one crate separated. So you'll have to make multiple trips to deliver these crates or have a team help you move these crates. Loose crates can be destroyed by explosives and crates in a vehicle is destroyed by blowing up that actual delivery vehicle. To source crates, you must visit the CEO office computer. Through the special cargo menu, you'll be able to purchase crates. You can purchase one crate for $2,000, two crates for $8,000, or three crates for $18,000. This means sourcing more crates at a time will cost you more money. Now to most people, you would assume that if you are a solo player, you would purchase one crate, and if you had one teammate, you would purchase two crates, and if you had a total of three or more players, you'd purchase three crates. 
This is not the case when it comes to profit per hour. Always source three crates at a time. This is the most profitable way. This guy right here conducted a self study where he was he went out and collected crates one at a time, two at a time and three at a time solo. He completed 20 missions per type of mission. He found an average of how it, how long it took him to complete each mission style with travel time and cooldowns included. He found the following. Collecting one crate took him 5.18 minutes, collecting two crates took him 7.11 minutes, and collecting three crates took him 8.23 minutes. So if we do the math here, it will take the average person 5.18 minutes when you do a one crate mission. When you do a two crate mission, you'll collect one crate every 3.5 minutes. And when you do a three crate mission, you'll collect a crate every 2.7 minutes. That's nearly half the time per crate when comparing a solo player trying to complete these missions at one crate at a time versus three crates at a time. So in summary, always do three crate missions solo or with a team. There is a five minute cooldown between sourcing missions for individual warehouses. This means if you have one warehouse and source a crate that you will have to wait five minutes to source again. But if you have two warehouses and you source out for warehouse A, you will immediately be able to source another crate for warehouse B because the five minute cooldown was applied to warehouse A specifically. Rotating between warehouses will eliminate the five minute cooldown because you will be running off that cooldown during your other sourcing mission. Once you select the amount of crates you want to source, which should be three as I clearly stated, your assistant will inform you of where the crates are. You will then need to go out and collect these crates and deliver them to your selected warehouse. A really cool thing about crates that I'm going to quickly touch on are rare crates. Rare crates are special cargo that sell for much more than the regular cargo. Every so often you will have the opportunity to collect these rare crates. Always check your single crate pricing. If it is abnormally high, this is a rare crate and should be collected immediately. You will get a phone call from your assistant telling you that something interesting has come up and now you should take a look at it on your crate warehouse computer. These are worth your time. Note that they must be sold individually. If you'd like to take a look at the possibilities of rare crates that you can actually collect, the article linked below in the description box will outline a table of how much it costs to buy these crates and sell them for. So the last and probably most interesting part of the crate warehouse is the selling portion of the business. So selling crates will be the next thing we talk about. To sell crates, you will have to visit the warehouse you plan from selling from. Once they, once you are there, you'll have to sign on to your computer and the amount of crates sold will actually determine the amount of vehicles you will have to use to deliver the crates. If you are delivering one to nine crates, you will be using one vehicle. If you deliver 10 to 29 crates, you'll be using one to two vehicles. And if you are delivering 30 to 111 crates, you will be delivering using one one to four vehicles. The missions can be done in three different modes of transportation, air, land, and sea. For air, you'll be flying one to four Cuban 800 planes or one Titan. For the land, you'll be driving one to three brigades. And for the sea, you'll be using a tugboat. It's best to have one friend minimum to help with sail missions. Although these missions can be done solo. I'd like to take a quick look at the profit analysis here. So one large crate warehouse takes about 37 missions when sourcing three crates at a time and costs about 666,000 to fill. This will sell for two 0.2 million, leaving you with a profit of 1.5 million. This roughly makes you $42,000 profit per crate sourcing mission. One large crate warehouse would take 111 missions when sourcing one crate at a time. It would cost you 220,000 to fill. This will sell for the same 2.2 million, leaving you with 1.9 million profit. That roughly makes you $18,000 profit per mission. So yes, you do pay more per crate when sourcing three crates, making 28% more money when sourcing one crate at a time. But you will have to spend three times the amount of time to do so. The return on investment is just not there. You would be better off doing headhunter or sightseer missions back to back than sourcing one crate at a time. 
So always source three crates at a time to make the maximum amount of profit per mission. The more you sell at one time, the more per crate you make. So selling in large quantities like 111 will definitely yield you more profit than selling 40 crates. To make this very clear, you're not just making more money because you're selling more, you're making more money per crate. So that's why selling in bulk is preferable and the large warehouse is the way you should go. If you're just beginning, of course, you can buy a small or medium, but if you can save up, save up for the large warehouse. Delivery vehicle upgrades are super important when it comes to successfully delivering your products on time and safely. You have the option to upgrade your vehicles in the crate warehouse. To buy the upgrades for your vehicles, you will need to look for the red workbench within your warehouse. These upgrades are worthwhile in the long term if you plan to do these missions often. As well as they do apply to all of your cell missions, it's not upgraded just for one warehouse, it upgrades them for all delivery missions period. So to top it off, that's pretty much how the vehicle crate warehouse is run. I'm gonna give you some quick little pro tips. Number one is the must have is a buzzard. Having the buzzard for these missions and transportation is just essential. Not having the buzzard will make this a lot harder. Having the buzzard will make this a lot easier, like a lot easier. Just buy the buzzard, uh, use the money you make from this business to buy a buzzard. You don't think you'll use it because you have a Mark II oppressor. Trust me, you will use it if you have a buzzard buzzard you will use it please get one number two park the terabyte outside of your apartment after completing a sourcing mission and teleport to the apartment by accepting a heist job and then go to the terabyte to start your next sourcing crate mission now this only applies to you if you only have one warehouse if you have two warehouses just sit the terabyte about halfway or in front of one of your crate warehouses and you'll be able to just walk outside your crate warehouse and start your next sourcing mission number three the mark II oppressor is always nice to have of course if you can afford it and have access to that kind of income definitely go ahead and pick up the mark II oppressor it makes these missions a breeze to collect number five complete vip work such as headhunter or sightseer during cooldowns so if you have cooldowns and don't know what to do with your time do vip work such as headhunter and sightseer but if you do number five have a vehicle warehouse i recommend sourcing vehicle cargo during your cooldowns to maximize your profits and number seven always use lester to remove wanted levels through your phone in your contacts this will make your life a whole lot easier i hope this crate warehouse guide helps you guys make money fast in gta 5 online i hope it shows you how to run these special cargo crate missions effectively in gta 5. if you liked the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching thank you guys so much